My name is the Mighty Beard. We are back here once again for another episode here on the Unorthoblox server emanating from the Mushroom Island base. And uh, today is the day. Today is the day that we open up the island, we end the lockdown, and we let our villagers uh, work at their new shops, which means uh, we had to do a, a few things off camera. But as you can see, I'm holding some bricks. Why? Well, that's because we've been uh, doing some work off camera and we made some alterations to the shopping district. And yeah, we got a new building. Uh, this is going to be the forge. It's not it's not totally complete, but I think overall it's going to fit pretty well. So yeah, down here we've got like a little furnace area. Uh, so this is going to be where our tool and armors are, 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 are going to go. But yeah, uh, we got our workstations down here and... Yeah, I think overall it's going to fit pretty well. Up here, um, we've got room for another uh, set of uh, smiths of some sort, but I think this is going to be where our masons are going to be going. Uh, plus, uh, plus we have uh, this cow who has decided <laughs> that uh, he is going to live here now, which is okay. The more, the merrier. Quick edit note before we continue. Um, I should note that um, uh, recording is over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, my, uh, recording studio has been overtaken by my daughter. Um, so the, um, so there, there could be some background noise. Uh, I hope you don't mind. All right. So workstations have all been moved today. Like I said, is the day that we move everyone into their new shops. Uh, my only concern, my only concern is maybe the workstations are too far away, but Hey, we'll figure that out <laughs> as we go right now. Let's head into the uh, into the uh, uh, the hotel and uh, unlock the doors. So I've got the clock on the screen. We've got a little data pack that handles that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to verify. Uh, I wanted to wait until everyone was about to go to bed. That way, I could I could handle uh, removing the barriers uh, without without you know distraction. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take care of this. Okay, everyone is asleep, and the doors are open, and now it is the waiting game. So let's uh, let's go ahead, go to sleep, and uh, when we wake up in the morning, they will be uh, free to leave their hotel. All right, we have awoken, and uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, so villagers are starting to wake up, but uh, it's going to take them... Um, uh, I think until about nine nine o'clock uh, before they start heading to workstations. So again, my my fear is maybe the workstations are too far away, but uh, we will we will find out. <laughs> we'll find out. But uh, yeah, it's six six thirty four. Uh, let's wait. Nine o'clock has occurred, and uh, we've got we've got a few few that have taken a look at the door, haven't walked out yet. So we'll just continue to wait. All right, it is now 11 o'clock and uh, no one has exited out of the hotel. A little bit disappointed, so <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab the workstations. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll put them a bit closer uh, to see if they latch on. And then once they get close, uh, we'll, we'll move them back in. But yeah, we, we, might, we might have a little bit of an issue here. All right, workstations have been moved and uh, I guess we just wait. We've got one villager coming out. He's tracking. He's tracking. Very good. Very good. No one else is coming out though. This is really, this is really odd. Really odd. Oh, another one. All right, they've latched on. So let's go ahead and uh, move the stations over here. And uh, yeah, just kind of wait. Uh, they are not latching. Are the workstations too far? Like really? They're too far from the hotel. Ah, uh, oh man. Well, inside, like I, I mean, at least everyone's mingling. That's that's a good that's a good thing. That's a good start. We just need to somehow get them to latch onto their workstations and know that they can exit out. We've got a few out, but not not as many as I was hoping for. All right, so that tells me that uh, we've got to change plans. The 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 trek from the hotel over to the the shopping district is going to be too far. So. Yeah, I think we're going to have to set up some new residences. <laughs> so we've got all this space back here. So maybe maybe we just set up 
uh, some housing. All right. So as far as uh, building residences over here, like we obviously have quite quite a lot of real estate to work with, um, but we are in a bit of an issue here. So um, I think my initial plan was to was to bring this road out and maybe maybe curve it around. Uh, but I want to retain this guy. I want to retain the fin, uh, our little sundial that we've got here. Uh, and I also wanted to retain this to uh, to to preserve it because these are these are cool things that you don't like normally see. And uh, so I still want like a sundial monument. Uh, and I think being able to preserve this area would be super nice. However, to to bring the road over um, and maybe you know up front, um, it's it's going to cut into this. So I'm thinking of just cutting the road and just just ending it right there. And instead, we've got uh, we've got this little walkway, so we could probably continue to extend this up, and then have this loop around. So I've started to kind of lay out like where houses could go, and just doing like a five by five uh, type layout, which should be enough space for um, for you know two or three villagers in each one. Um, but our uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I think I think I want to level this out a little bit just to give us a little bit more room to work with. Uh, so probably take it down all the way uh, to this block or maybe a, a block a block lower, uh, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of landscaping. But that theoretically would allow for some houses uh, on a higher level and then some housing um, on a lower level that have uh, you know the the ocean side ocean side view. So this wasn't the plan for today. <laughs> so I've got to put some thought into how how I really want to go about doing this. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back once I've once I've had some time to think. So thinking has uh, has occurred. I ended up leveling out that uh, that that top level. So now the roads kind of match together, and so we've got. Uh, some opportunities here. Uh, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, uh, eleven units. I guess we can call it uh, that. Uh, we can we can work we can work with. Like right now, um, the the hotel is about uh, there's there's eight eight rooms, but theoretically each room is then divided up by two rooms, so sixteen rooms. Um, and there's probably, you know, between two and four beds in each room. So these pods are, are five, five by five. So not, not the largest amount of space. So we might want to play around with some ideas, like maybe having two stories or maybe merge, uh, merge some of the, uh, some of these builds to have like, uh, like two family home versus a single family home. Um, maybe, maybe just build like, uh, like an apartment kind of complex with two or three levels. I mean, we can go down, we can go down, but I think the overall layout works and it would still match up with like the, the wall blocking that, uh, that, that we have in place. Uh, but overall, I, I think this is, this is the general layout we're going to be working with. And, and don't forget down below all of this we we also have some space that we've already carved out for where uh, where i was gonna put uh a, a a a furnace array the original home of our villagers um is down down below all of this um so we can actually dig into the ground to to create uh some some more some more room so but I think I think generally speaking, this is going to work, and uh, everyone's going to be close enough to their workstations that uh, they should be able to latch on pretty easily. But now, now we have to go and actually build it, which is going to be a grind. <laughs> so let's get into it.
Well, the deed is done. Uh, most of the uh, most of the villagers are over here now. Uh, we still have a few that are that are cooped up in the hotel, but uh, we've been boating them one at a time. <laughs> One at a time over during the day and then, uh, yeah, putting beds down and trying to convince them to come down. But the top layer will not latch to a bed that's on the ground. Uh, so instead, uh, it's boating. It's boat It's boat access. Yeah, as you can see, the masons are in. The smiths are doing their thing. And, uh, yeah, we've got a new residential area. Uh, so, yeah, I, we, I think we ended up doing... 13. <laughs> we did 13 of, of these little uh, apartments. And yeah, right now uh, they need a lot of help. And I mean a lot of help. It's just beds and lights. And that's basically it in each one. But uh, so far, uh, the villagers that I have been able to br bring over um, are latching on the beds without an issue. Uh, the, only, the only place I am, I am concerned about uh, is this one right here because we've got this bit of a of a stairwell? Okay, this door was closed, so maybe villagers have found that, but haven't found this one yet. Uh, I'm concerned with the fall with the fall damage. I mean, that's yeah, it's a little bit of damage. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe uh, maybe we extend this out one block. They should be able to fit, or at least a a slab, maybe. Do, if we do a slab there, they should they should be fine. Yeah. All right. So we'll we'll change it out to be a nicer slab. But uh, yeah, overall, our little uh, distraction of a project <laughs> uh, is is pretty much it's pretty much complete. And yeah, getting a little bird's eye view. Pretty much, pretty much, we've got half of the island complete. <laughs> I mean, there's still a lot of work to do. But uh, overall, there's there's some things that we won't be doing. Like we won't be touching this area much at all to preserve it. Uh, I'd like to do something similar over here with uh, with with the, our, our initial base. Right, we had this mushroom that we hid under from from uh, from phantoms until we could get a bed. Uh, our first bed right there. Uh, we've got our first our first chests and yeah, our first farm as well. So. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good memories here that I, I'd like to preserve. We still have the donkey. <laughs> the donkey is still there. Uh, we need we need to move him uh, to somewhere else. But yeah, generally speaking, I think I'd like to preserve this as uh, just 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 keep it the same. Maybe you know, I, obviously, like tidy it up to to fill in these holes. But uh, for the most part, uh, preserving uh, preserving our our, our history. Is, is definitely uh, something to to consider. Also this, we should preserve this. So yes, today was filled with distractions. And uh, I mean, that's Minecraft. That's that's how it always is. Something always pops up that that takes you away from what you were planning on working on. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Uh, so I uh, I'm tired. Uh, that was a that was a that was a pretty big project. We still have a bit of work to do to bring the rest of the villagers down, but uh, I'm feeling good. But we got a big project coming up, and I can't wait to share it with you. But we'll uh, we'll talk about that more next time. My name is Mighty Beard. It's been a pleasure, and we will play Minecraft together again very soon. Later.